everybody, this is Lego underscore Lever, and today I am here with the advanced level rendering tutorial. So, what I'm going to be mainly talking about today is something called emission. Emission is where you take a part with a transparent material and make it light up, as here's an example in this render. So, this is, can also be used for minifigures with lightsabers, so let me show you an example. Okay, there we go, so I have set up a posed minifigure, and now I'm going to give him a lightsaber. Okay, now I have a setup minifigure. Now I'm going to show you a mission. So once you go to the 3D rendering tab, go to lighting, then scroll down, and you'll see this tab called a mission. So what a mission does is, like I said earlier, it makes these transparent materialized pieces glow. So to do that, you have to select on this list any material here that is transparent or even some of the glitter pieces you click on the material so really quick I'm going to check what material this is and then you click on it and in the object tab it shows you all the references for the piece so the material is transparent light blue on the lightsaber blade. So now we're going to go to back to 3D rendering, go back to emission, click on this list and select transparent light blue. Now that we have that selected, now hit the plus. Now as you will see, the lightsaber just lit up a little bit, even in the viewport view. So make sure that this is at least on render. Uh, that's the viewport view, so if you turn this off and on, you can see the little difference. I would just leave it on for testing reasons. So make sure it's in the render if you want this to appear in the final result. And really quick, I'm just going to put it on lock camera to view. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now we have our lightsaber glowing a little bit. So now that we have that, uh, we can change the strength. The strength decides, I'm sorry, how bright it glows. So I'm going to put it back to the default at 0 0.1. And I think that's pretty good. So now you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to get a quick floor. And I'm going to get a black background just here. And I'm going to uh, make it as long as the default so the whole lightsaber blade can fit. Now that we have that, we go to the render tab, scroll down and click render. So now we wait for this render to finish. Okay, it is now finished. And as you can see, it does make the lightsaber blade glow. And I'm going to show you an example render without emission. Okay, there is an example of the difference for emission. And as I showed you earlier, the example render. Uh, you can use this on any transparent material. So, I'm actually really quickly going to bring in a different model. Okay, I've brought in a new minifigure and this is a Sith. So the lightsaber blade material is transparent red. So we're going to go to 3D rendering, scroll down from lighting and go to emission and pop in transparent red and hit the plus. So you can put this at about 0 0.15 if you want. And I'm just going to add in a 
four quickly. And there we go. And now I want a black background. And really quickly, I'm going to just zoom in a little. There we go. Actually, I'm going to make that. Yeah, there we go. And now I'm going to click the render button and I'll show you. Okay, there we go. So now we have our completed render with the emission with the red lightsaber. Now I'm going to click download. Okay, now that's finished, here's the problem without emission for transparent red. As you can see, without the lighting, the transparent light blue looked more just clear, but this one looks like black. It like it's it's not usually because of the black background that I just added, but it it does this in other times. Uh, so, like I said, you should definitely turn on a mission for transparent red pieces, but there you go. Thank you very much for watching the advanced level rendering tutorial by Lego underscore lover. There will be one more planned in the series, and I am thinking of doing a little bonus video, so stay tuned for that. And as I said, thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.